<laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this. What do you guys think? Did we pass the snow test? This thing is buried in snow. Now, for the record, I don't recommend allowing snow to accumulate. I'm just kind of stress testing this tent to see how well, or how well it doesn't hold up. But uh, you can see, oh man, this thing just ha is caked with snow. So I'm gonna go inside there and knock the snow off and um, before I do that though, let's walk around to the other side. Man, my feet. <laughs> oh, I'm so impressed. I'm so glad that that held up so well. Boy, I'm really sorry. It's really dark in here. It's dark in here because we got all this so lighten it up a little bit, but that's how you, wow, that's how you push the snow off. Give yourself a little bit more, a little bit more light. You just push it off like that. And this is the awning area right here. And it doesn't even have that extra support pole that the inside has. Yeah, so if we go inside. Oh yeah, let me show you something. Got a little bit of snow right here and that's expected if the stove were on, obviously that wouldn't exist. That would kind of sizzle off. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna knock the snow off in here too. The support pole up here is doing a good job holding all this up. Can you see the difference? I know it's dark, sorry. Can you see the difference with this side, the snow being knocked off and the canvas kinda uh, takes its back to, it's still stretched out a little bit and that'll fix itself once everything dries. Um, and it's not wet inside here, by the way, nothing in here except for the, for the snow that came through the stove jack. But uh, you can see how much this side sags this side here versus that side. So I'll knock this side off next. And with the stove jack, I, I try and lift that up a little bit. Kind of support it when I knock the snow off there.
now that I've knocked the snow off, uh, you can see just how much snow there was by looking at what, what's on the ground now. Should probably clean off this store storm window here. But that is a lot of snow and it's done a good job. So what I'm about to show you next actually took place about two days before the video that you just saw. And it was really a night that I had spent in it anticipating a big snowstorm and it was a good snowstorm. Um, I wanted to show you what you just saw though because that was a better snowstorm. There's details though in the next part of this video in, including how well it heats up the awning area, how to knock snow off when you've got a hot stove, just some tidbits like that. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned here. Hey guys, so this I think is the snow test. We'll see, I'll see, you'll see here in a few seconds. I'll see here in a few hours. It's supposed to snow all night. I hope it accumulates a ton so I can show you how well it can hold the weight. And I also have the awning on, as you can see right there. Um, it's this area out here. I put a light out there so you can actually see out there. But that's the awning area. I'm gonna leave that window open so I can try and keep that area heated well also, just to kind of test that tonight. And I'll keep it posted throughout the night. I'm expecting that that good snow accumulation will start to sag on the roof and this support pole will do its job. And um, the heater will keep me warm and I suspect that I'm gonna have to, that I might get a little bit of moisture in through the stove jack, maybe down on the stove itself, we'll see. But uh, this is kind of the true test here. So we'll see, and um, I suspect I'll have to knock the snow off. But we'll see if my prediction is right or not. All right, well we got the snow that I was hoping for, and it's not powder, it's a, it's a heavy snow. During the night I could hear the rain, and then you could hear it, it's hard to explain, but you could hear it as it was hitting the the uh, the rooftop. You could tell that it then wasn't rain anymore, but it still wasn't snow because just obviously snow is silent. And um, I haven't knocked any of it off because I want to show you on the outside. In fact, I think it's the snow is still coming down. But um, I'm impressed at, at how much weight this can hold because this is this is heavy snow. And to get this off, why I would just you know hit the roof and it would start falling off. Um, the stove did really well. The stove, as the snow started to accumulate on the roof, it started to even do better because I'm sure, it, you know, it's like the igloo effect. It was kind of insulating the, the heat from escaping. So I, it was really nice. I didn't have to go through as much fuel. I ended up taking my beanie off. It, it was, got really nice. Um, I could hear the only thing that woke me up a couple times is some of the sizzle when the rain would come through or the snow or whatever just the water that was melting it would come through here and I could just hear a big old tss, but I mean it's it's wet outside oh you see that let me get a closer look for you you probably see some of this moisture come down I try to to keep this yeah the snow's pulled down on this the snow pulls down on this I try try and keep this up without touching the metal obviously or I'll burn my hand pretty good um, the snow's pulling it down but some of the water just you can you can see right here you can see that the water droplets right there but nothing on the stove. I mean, if it did hit the snow, it would sizzle. If it ran down this pipe, it would disappear as well. So, so at this point, with the stove, moisture is zero problem. I, don't, I haven't gotten anything inside, even when it was raining. So, holds up pretty well. Oh, let me give you some feedback on this. I kept this open. I kept this open for a good portion of the night to see how well it would warm it up. It was always colder in there. Um, 
when I step outside, it was even colder, colder. So obviously it was still working in there, but not as efficiently as it was in here. And at some point I wanted to just, I didn't want to waste any more fuel. So just keep in mind that it, it does heat the awning up this area out here. It doesn't heat it up nearly as well as just this, the tent area, but it, it did heat it up. In fact, even with it closed, even with this closed, um, um, wow, you know what? I just figured something out. Even with it closed, it still heats it up a little bit, but I just figured something out. Um, there's uh, a lot of, a lot more snow accumulation in the awning area. And that must be because I closed that window and the heat inside was melting a lot of that. Whereas in here, it's, I mean, it's really heavy right here. Let me see if I, hit this you can see see that see how <laughs> how much snow we got so um, let me show you from the outside though so you can get an idea of what type of snowstorm I'm talking about and it's really coming down so you can see the snow is really pouring down let me give you an idea how much and this is heavy snow this isn't powder so you can see around the tent that's the part that I just hammered off to get an idea of how how much snow accumulation is but uh, I think yeah, look at this. So the, the stove obviously melted a lot of that snow and it's running down because this is just slush. So a lot of that weight, I don't know if a lot of it's ended up coming out the side. It doesn't seem like it, but it's down here on the edge. So I'm gonna let it snow for a little bit more and see how much more snow it can take before I feel like I've gotta clear it off. And this, this support pole right here is really doing its job. This is the one that's optional. If, you, if you're not gonna get any snow, don't bother. Um, but it, I've never seen so much pressure on it. It sits really in there nice and tight. If I wiggle it a little bit, you can see the roof shake a little. So I'm not to totally not, not totally sure what's gonna happen here. I might get a little bit of snow down here, but I definitely don't wanna risk getting burned. Yeah, I see some snows coming in. That reminds me of those steam rooms those saunas where you throw the water on the hot rocks because I could instantly feel the humidity change in here once it once it hit that now that I've knocked the snow off let me show you real quick uh, the outside of the tent so this is the area by the the flu and you can see lots and lots of slush here because it it's hottest right here so I'll just scrape that off Kind of cleans it off too. The embers that end up falling down. <laughs> lots of, lots of fun snow today. And see, I thought I got all that totally off, but you can see there's still some slush. So. It holds up pretty well. Really well. Fire's still going in there. In fact, it's still nice and warm. Freezing out here though.